हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू इंक्लूड बूटस्ट्रैप इनसाइड योर एंगुलर नाइन एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ ब्रांड न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंगुलर नाइन प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई हैव सो दिस इज एप डॉट कंपोनेंट डॉट एच टी एम एल फाइल द वेरी फर्स्ट वे बाई विच यू कैन जस्ट इंक्लूड बूट स्ट्रैप इज बाई सी डी एन सी डी एन इज कॉल्ड कंटेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क यू कैन जस्ट इंक्लूड दिस लिंक हेयर दिस इज अ मिन डॉट सी एस एस लिंक एंड आफ्टर द हेड यू कैन जस्ट डिक्लेयर अ लिंक टैग एंड इन साइड द एच रेफ यू कैन जस्ट copy paste this uh, address which is there inside app.component.html uh, now you can just use the container class of bootstrap and let's suppose i want to have a button bootstrap button which has a class of uh, uh, btn btn danger so this will make this button red color so now let me just have a, a label of sign up now it will load up this compile this successfully if i load my application you will see that this this is a bootstrap button and this is a very simple way by which you can just uh, include bootstrap inside your angular 9 application and let me also have this as primary so this will be a blue button so now let me refresh the application you will see that uh, now this will be a blue button the second way is very uh, the second way is in order to install a module which is ngx bootstrap so if you go to npm package manager this is the module that i am talking about ngx bootstrap so this is a bootstrap module for specifically angular application and this is the most preferred method among developers so if you are professional angular developer you must follow the second method that i am going to tell you so just go to command prompt and just stop this execution and now you just need to execute a simple command which is npm install ngx dash bootstrap and also right here bootstrap we also need to install bootstrap library and dash dash save so i have already done that i have already executed its command so just execute this command this command will take 5 to 10 seconds and it will install bootstrap inside your application now i will now i will just execute this command ng serve that's it so this will build my project and uh, now i will be in including the bootstrap so first of all you need to go to a file which is there inside your uh, styles so uh, angular.json file so this angular.json file is present inside your uh, root directory let me just show you this is the angular.json file you need to go to this file and inside this styles array here you, you need to provide some entries here so just after this styles.css you just need to include one entry which will be inside this array so this will be node modules and inside the node modules folder let me just show you i have already done executed this command so you will have your node modules folder so this is the root directory of the let me just show you so basically this is a uh, angular project and inside this there is a node modules folder so in this folder all the node modules will be stored inside it now we need to go to this folder and there will be a folder called as bootstrap so now let me just search for b here so you will see that uh, there will be a bootstrap folder uh, let me just search for this folder bootstrap so you will see that uh, this is a folder i am talking about bootstrap inside this folder there is a dist folder distribution and css and here we just need to include the bootstrap min.css so now i will be writing this path here bootstrap inside this there is a dist folder css and then we have the bootstrap min.css file that's it so this is a whole path let me just it once again tell you this is a complete file node modules bootstrap dist css and bootstrap min.css so after making this change you need to go to a file which is uh, app dot module dot type script so this is your app level component there is a file called as app dot module dot ts now we just need to import some modules which is there inside ngx so we need to import first of all our alert module like this uh let me just write this line manually you can just see it so you just need to import this from ngx ngx bootstrap the module that we have installed and now you also need to import it right here so we will just write here alert module dot for root just write the statement like this 
and now we can go to app.component.html and now we can use we can just remove this link tag we don't need this cdn link and uh, now we can just use our alert statement like this alert module that we have imported like this we have a alert tag the type will be success and let me just write this as success now if i refresh the application it will compile my dependencies like this so you will see that if i go to the application so just wait it is compiling it uh, i need to i think that we need to run it once again just write the statement ng serve so now it will build this application from scratch so just wait for a minute so it will again build this application uh, you can see that 0% compiling it so it is compiling the resources that we have made the changes here so just wait it takes it takes time when it loaded for the very first time So now you can see that it has compiled it successfully. If I reload the application, you will see that success module is there of alert. And now basically I can have as many alerts as I possible. Now I can declare a alert which has a type of, uh, let's suppose danger. And this is a danger one. Now if I refresh it, you will see a danger alert. Similarly, we have a warning as well. Alert type warning and uh, this is warning this is a warning and one other i think that uh, there is also a info as well so alert type info and one other which is primary as well so let me just show you alert type is primary which is blue in color so now basically if i refresh it you will see that info and primary so these are basically the same colors and similarly we can also include some more modules which are there inside it which is uh, the buttons module buttons module after importing inside this we also need to mention it right here put a comma and buttons module for root so just execute this line and now we can also use a button module as well so right here after the alert statement we can just declare a button of type button and we can just give it a bootstrap class of btn btn danger and this is a login button if i refresh it you will see a login button which will be red in color like this and similarly we can have a primary button as well so you can see that so in this tutorial we have seen two methods of including bootstrap inside your angular 9 application first was the cdn method it was very pretty simple for uh, beginners and the second method is typically for professional angular 9 developers so if you want to install the ngx bootstrap library in order to statically install bootstrap inside your application i will prefer the second approach just install this module which is ngx bootstrap inside your application you can see that this is a very popular module over 1 lakh downloads are there 165000 downloads so just use this a library in order to include bootstrap inside your angular application so thanks so much for watching this video